हेलो देयर सो आई वॉज गोइंग थ्रू दिस पेपर नेम्ड इम्प्रूविंग द टेक्सट एम्बेडिंग विद द लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल सो बेसिकली दिस इज़ वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पेपर इन दिस पेपर दे हैव इम्प्लीमेंटेड डिकोडर बेस्ड एल एल एम्स लाइक मिक्सट्रा लल लामा टू टू इम्प्लीमेंट द टेक्सट एम्बेडिंग सो वेन एवर लाइक यू वॉन्ट टू एम्बेड सम टेक्सट सो नॉर्मली वी वर यूजिंग लाइक द मॉडल्स लाइक बर्ट एंड अदर सो बेसिकली दे दोज वर इन कोडर बेस्ड मॉडल सो इन दिस so paper they have implemented the decoder based models and they have like uh, instruction tuned it using the synthetic data and like uh, it was uh, better than the uh, fine tuning the encoder based bert and other supervised models so that is why i think this paper is very very interesting and i will be investing a lot of time into explanation of concepts because concepts are very very important so this paper will also improve your understanding of a transformer architecture and uh, the other details so let's begin so the question which arises is why better embeddings so why we need uh, better embeddings for uh, retrieval augmented generation and, and all those things so nowadays as we all know llms which are pre trained on gigantic data set right and uh, this data set has some cut off date suppose like uh, gpt 3.5 they have a cut off date up to uh, 2022 i think so any new query which comes into gpt 3.5 like it will be out of distribution for of this data set so to make that uh, out of distribution data which is of 2022 to 2024 uh, uh, so it needs to be like embedded into documents and fed it into uh, llm so whenever like a new query which comes is like related to cricket world cup llm doesn't know it about it so it will like a query the the embeddings and it will retrieve the most uh, like appropriate embedding and then the response will be given so this is a core crux of a retrieval augmented generation so in short better the embeddings better will be the retrieved documents and better will be the output of the llms in retrieval augmented generation and this is my top mid profile which is basant5911 and you can visit over here and to begin with encoder based embeddings right so this is a architecture of encoder transformer right so it has a multi head self attention and uh, the other feed forward layers so how it work is like uh, whenever just you just uh, input a uh, some text like this uh, text is retro outfits looks uh, great on men right so it will like uh, feed forward in, into this uh, transformer and like uh, an output will be uh, 6 cross 5 112 a dimensional vector like right? so this is uh, subjective this can be large also so it depends upon the input embedding and this the output embedding will be like 6 cross n like this is encoder model like so encoders are great in natural language understanding like it is great uh, in understanding because each the token so these are the six token t1 to t6 each of the tokens they are attending to each other tokens right so t1 is attending to t2 3 and uh, and all that they are also attending to the like future and the past tokens each of the token is attending to each other right so that is why like this kind of uh, enco uh, en encoder based nlu models they are great in understanding the text so they are used in uh, sentiment analysis and other downstream tasks so they are widely used over there so all the power is because of the attention mechanism attention mechanism is like a self attention here and like it will uh, it will be attending to the future tokens also that is why entire attention matrix will be will contain the floating points so now let's talk about bert bert is encoder based model so in bert we have the multiple layers right so normally i think the large bert has 24 layers or 48 i am not sure about it sure about it you can check the paper so in the bert uh, it's trained in like a self supervised fashion right so that uh, that text is uh, feed forwarded and uh, during the back propagation the 15% of the tokens are randomly marks suppose uh, this uh, sentence contains 100 words right so then the 15% of the words will be masked then that our task is is to like uh, pred uh, predict those words using some uh, transformer architecture that is how bert is trained so this uh, random randomness of uh, like uh, 15% uh, uh, during each approach it 
it gives a it makes the bot robust to nlu based task like uh, uh, sentiment analysis and other downstreaming so that is why bot is regarded as a foundation model and you can just uh, take a bot which is trained on very large general corpus right and after that you can fine tune it on your particular data set and all that suppose i am a doctor and i want to build a information retrieval system onto doctor text right so then uh, what uh, what i need to do is like first i should fine tune the this bot using uh, some medical data corpus right and uh, after like we are just uh, fine tuning the bot on uh, some medical data the some weights will be updated because we are using some uh, uh, techniques like blora and adapters so that is why some weights will be updated which are specific to uh, this medical domains in this uh, journal language corpus right and and then the last thing i have written over here is why embeddings are important right so our task is to uh, like have the better and better embeddings so why these embeddings are important right first of all nowadays retrieval augmented generation is really really uh, significant topic like so we have to do some retrieve the information from the corpus right so then for efficient retrieval this embeddings needs to be very very efficient so that is why uh, uh, in rag the better embedding models are are being considered as a great thing right and uh, the second thing is nlu task as i was all, all already talking like uh, the task like sentiment analysis and other downstreaming tasks they are like very very important in the machine learning pipeline so that is why better embedding models are like always a pro now let's jump to the decoder based uh, uh, embeddings right so this is a new thing like which which is uh, proposed in the paper like i might be skipping some details because my my motive is to explain you the concept not the inter internal details of the paper so this is a decoder based transformer in decoder based transformer we have a multi head self attention and that self attention is masks so that the, the earlier self attention in the encoder that was not masks so it has a future mask right suppose i am querying into this uh, on token right so whenever i am querying on to on and like it will attend to the past token so it will not attend to the future token right so like retro outfit looks great on men so whenever like we are querying on to on it will uh, attend to the past tokens so that is why our uh, attention matrix uh, is like a uh, triangular in nature and these all the future to, uh, future attention scores they will be like uh, initialized as a negative infinity and like they will be skipped out of the computation in attention mechanism so that is how this uh, mask self attention works and this is like very very powerful in uh, nlg natural language generation task as the task in uh, decoder based transformer is to generate the auto uh, like to predict the text in auto regressive fashion right my this is my large language model which is a decoder based and i just uh, feed forwarded uh, this uh, text into this llm and i just made a query and uh, like retro outfit looks great on and it will output the men so this uh, uh, will happen like this will attend to this 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 and attention scores will be computed and after that it will output the men so this is how this uh, attention mechanism uh, works which is based on um, like so this masking makes sure that it is not attending to the future token and this is like very very great thing in uh, uh, decoder based llms so the paper which i was talking earlier what they have done is like they have used this decoder based uh, transformer architecture and using the decoder based uh, architecture so they did some instruction tuning onto uh, llama which is like a decoder based uh, llm after that the instruction tuning which is like uh, similar to fine tuning like it is like advanced version of fine tuning so after like instruction tuning it to start it gave better result than encoder based supervised bert right so bert is a like supervised model it is self self supervised but uh, this uh, because of this instruction tuning onto this it gave a better result than the bert 
bert model like which was uh, considered to be a, a state of the art uh, in the past as uh, like encoder based uh, uh, transformers they have limited context window so we, it was uh, some it has some limits related to self attention so that that is why the decoder based uh, trans uh, transformers were, have been used into the embedding also so their uh, like uh, context length is quite quite flexible that is because of sliding window attention and group query attention so both of this reduces the perplexity and increases the efficiency while performing the auto regressive uh, uh, things so that is why like uh, the context window is very very large in decoder based uh, transformers so 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 google and microsoft they are also developing uh, they have been like uh, developing the uh, the embed embedding uh, modules which were using decoders and uh, as the, as a core so they have uh, used mistral 7 billion parameter model and it was instruction tuned on some synthetic data set so why like uh, this thing is beating the encoder based bot so first thing is like uh, because of auto -reg auto regressive decoding of text so this is like uh, it uses a lot of compute and uh, and also it is quite efficient than self attention and the second thing is uh, like uh, this auto regressive decoding is uh, is using mask self attention so as i was earlier saying like uh, auto regressive decoding uh, is like a quite a robust robust as compared to the self attention so the core reason is uh, masking so masking is like masking the future tokens while uh, while doing the while performing the attention mechanism so some of these were also using the decoder part some of these have are having a sh uh, deep encoder and sh shallow decoder and all those were, are like quite integrated so in short i just want to say that uh, because it is previously using the weights of mistral and and some uh, instruction tuning was done so that is why it is uh, producing better results so that's all thank you thank you for the listening have a great day